Chapter 6 Angelica's excitement was something she needed to suppress. She knew where Javi Jones would come out of the street after leaving the police station. She was waiting. To cover herself, she'd pulled a jumper from the back seat over her T-shirt and ruffled her hair, pulling it all forward instead of the tied-back look she'd sported when talking to Javi a few minutes earlier. She was on a mission. She was going to follow Javi Jones to wherever he had been called to. The roads were filled with trucks heading along to the sea. It was at this time of year that Javier traffic turned into large vehicles preparing the town for the summer rush. Temporary beach bars were set up all along the front between the port and the Arenal. These helped cater for the massive increase in trade. The local businesses that ramped up massively in the summer, which were pretty much all of them, got their supplies delivered now ahead of demand. This ranged from the scuba centre to the pedalos along the beach, as well as the extra tables and chairs restaurants needed for their increased custom. It was like much of the town was put into hibernation, stored away until it was needed again. The place came to life in the summer, and this was the very beginning of it. She tracked the movements of Javi Jones. She had no idea where Tina Gonzalez lived, even if that was the Gonzalez that Javi's call referred to. It was a common name in Spain. She guessed that there were probably hundreds of people with that surname in Javier alone. Angelica stayed three or four cars back as much as she could hoping to stay in the background and not indicate to the detective that he was being followed. She weaved in and out of traffic when he got too far ahead, dropping back and letting people out when she felt too close. As Javi Jones slowed down, checked something in his lap and pulled up on one side of a wide road, Angelica pulled up on the other around 50 yards further back. She pulled the wonky sunglasses out of the glove compartment and sunk low into her seat so she couldn't be seen. The scene was already set as somewhere a crime had been committed. There was a large white van parked out the front, a hive of activity. The letters on the side of the van spelled out the word Forens. Her Castilian hadn't made it as far as that particular piece of vocabulary but she didn't have to be an expert to take a good guess at what it meant. People in white coats were in and out of the van, recovering sealed clear bags from the property and marching them to the back of the van before completing a form on a clipboard and going back into the property to retrieve something else of significance. Javi was talking to someone at the gate leading to a short path, at the end of which was the front door. As the people marched in and out, another figure appeared. He dropped his head, trying to shield his eyes from the sunlight. Most people would have raised their hands to shield their eyes from the glare of the sun that was shining directly at him. But this man couldn't do any such thing. He was handcuffed. The policeman escorting the handcuffed man from the property handed his arm to Javi Jones, who took him and led the man to a marked police car, minding his head as he placed him in the back. Angelica guessed this was Freya's father and Tina's husband. <laughs>